What's going on, guys? It's boy Maximum RPM coming at you with another video today. Um, focus. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna get keep on going with the uh, tournament. Um, to see which one of my Beyblades is the best. Uh, this first battle is going to be very interesting. It's Dronzer, Yell Zeta versus Dronzer, Yell Unite. Or sorry, Spread Unite. Um, Zeta is going to be in attack mode for the entire tournament. Got some real good hits. Coming down to stamina. And a burst. Maximum Garuda versus Wyvron. See if we can get in Steamroller Rush. There it is. I couldn't grip the ripcord, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. It's Garuda. That, and if it has to go to a redemption round, I'm pretty sure it would take it. It's always down between Garuda. Um. Garuda, Hercules, and Belcash. <laughs> Those are the three that are always almost certain to uh, take it. Alright, we got Odax versus the White Guyanon on one Hunter Slingshock. I was right about to say, it's probably going to win for once. This thing really does suck. But Odax is really old. Phoenix versus Trident. That was a... <laughs> the armor just ping-pongs. Starting to come down to stamina. Phoenix gets it. Salamander versus Istros. Salamander's in full attack mode. If it loses, it goes to full defense. Salamander's landed really good attacks, but just can't do it this time. Full defense mode now. Alright, here we go. If Salamander wins this, then I'm going to put it in... Um, well, if Salamander wins it, then it really wins it, because attack mode... That's really against weak Beyblades, and I really didn't think that Istros was going to take it. Because Istros might look cool. It looks like a creamsicle when it's spinning. But it's not very good. But it managed to beat Salamander. That layer is built for defense, not stamina. And they gave it the worst slopes on the planet. Now we have Surprise and Requiem, Zero, Zeta, Right Rotation, Attack Mode, going up against Dragoon F Gravity Variable. My variable is very, very good. all shiny and new. Oh my god! How has Dragoon not just been absolutely destroyed yet? That's better. Now, let's use the worst variable ever made. Veltrek boost variable. Variables completely worn down versus Odax vertical claw. This is Odax O2. I've never seen... Wow, this launcher sucks. Hold on. I'm going to redo that. I've never seen a variable, like, more out of control than mine. Um. I mean, it really does suck. Unless it's in this stadium, then it actually has a chance. This is the calmest I've ever seen it. <laughs> we got... Typhoon versus Curveus Spread Revolve. Curveus went to the semifinals last time. I guess not this time. 
We got Farnius versus Genesis Valtriac 6 Ultimate Reboot. It just has a rubber band on it. Nothing crazy. It just makes it activate sooner. So it actually has some spins me. There we go. See what a difference it makes. Storm Surprise and Limited Variable versus Belkesh. Man, Spryzen's pushing Belkesh around. Starting to come down to stamina. Is anyone smart? What the heck? Now, all that damage might have been done because of how I picked it up, but I'm still a little impressed. Alright, we got Gainon, uh, the regular version, versus the blue, um, Betramoth, which is on down liner. That launch wasn't the greatest, but honestly, I don't expect it to do that good. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to redo that. Um, because that was actually a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Oh, look at the hits! I actually really like Liner. Um, it's different. It doesn't have to be good. It's just kind of cool. And technically, it does what it's supposed to. It rolls around. It's like a weird... Makeshift version of Orbit. Not really, but kind of. Alright, now we have Anubion uh, on Orbit versus Drigger. Holy crap, I knew it was going to do that. I freaking hate the Plastic Gen Beyblade remakes because they don't stay on the launcher. If they stayed on the launcher, then they would be so much better. Honestly, I'm betting on Trigger. Um, people have said that their orbit from Hasbro sucks. Mine's really good. Um, it's just got a really bad layer. A new Beyond as a layer is not very good. It's good for defense, but not much else. You got Diomedes. Versus the green Betramoth. Holy crap! In this tournament, if there are two double bursts in a row, both Beyblades are out. Hope there's not another double burst. And there was no contact with that battle. <clears throat> Honestly, Diomedes could have brought home the win with that, but still. I want interesting. I'm breaking all my green launchers. <laughs> They're all just falling apart. I hope those fake Beyblades come with some launchers, because I really, really need some launchers. End soon. Alright, we got the Bad Dragoon on Wing Extreme versus Wyron Vertical Fusion. I know it comes on Massive. I only have one Massive. <laughs> we got Jumunter 8 Fusion S versus Minoboros Oval Quake. Stay on the launcher. He bought Minoboros on accident. Holy crap! It fell into my cart at Walmart. I was at the checkout, so I was like, eh, you know what, I'll get it. I'm glad I did, because I absolutely love the first Minoboros. I really like the second version. Um, But I have the green recolor, which is actually what's up next. 
which is Minoboros Zero Neal S. Got to reach across the table. I'm um, going up against Quill Quensico Ring Edge. Um, I wish I could have gotten the regular version of Mad Minoboros, but I couldn't. Um, and Hasbro releases it on Knuckle Jaggy. I believe the correct combo for it is Quarter Jaggy. And it does go down. The Burst King stays alive. Alright guys, that's going to be it. Uh, we still got a few more battles to do, but no big deal. Please have like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you get all my videos because I upload daily. And as always, I hope this video makes your day just a little bit better. Live life to the max and stay awesome.